The formula. How to structure goals and make your plan. Step 3. Formulate a plan. This brings us to the next step, which is to formulate a plan on the basis of your current situation, where you want to be and what options you have available to you. For losing weight or getting into shape, this means looking, for example, at the different training programs. However, by making the honest assessment of yourself and your situation in the last step, you should be in a better position to choose a system that appeals to your particular strengths and weaknesses and that you are actually likely to see through. So many people will pay for expensive training programs that involve eating a very strict diet and working out 10 times a week for an hour each session. But is that really realistic? If you've tried to stick at previous workouts and have failed, then the answer is probably not. When you assess your current situation, that also means assessing where things went wrong in the past and what your lifestyle and personality will allow for. And by knowing this, you can then look for a training program or devise one that will work to your advantage. Maybe that means finding a way to fit CV in around your regular routine. Or maybe it means sticking to a diet that you will find enjoyable and convenient. The same goes for plans for travel and for your career. It's time to get real and to get your head out of the clouds. Stop dreaming about traveling the world and instead think about how you're going to travel more despite your personal responsibilities, budgetary limitations, etc. Stop wishing you were rich and start thinking about how you're going to climb the ladder in your career to actually get there. When making your plan, it's also important to think outside the box and to reject the generally accepted beliefs regarding what you need to do to accomplish each goal. Reject the norm. Because we are only really taught one way to get what we want, and that is to progress through our careers. And this is why so many of us get stuck. We decide we want to be rich, and so we work harder, instead of realizing that we could be wealthier on our current salaries by spending less, and perhaps finding a secondary income. We think the only way to become successful in music is to keep working our day job to pay for it. We think that the only way to travel more is to work harder and then retire early. But the costs of living will inevitably go up to meet your salary. You will have less and less time as you work harder and harder and take on more responsibility. And you'll find there's never a good time to accomplish your goals. And so instead, you need to take the path less traveled. There are other ways to getting to where you want to be. And if you're just banging your head against the wall, then it's time to rethink that strategy. There's nothing stopping you from starting a business in your spare time right now. There's no reason you can't quit your job and start traveling tomorrow. You have the abilities you need to begin applying for higher paid jobs. What's holding you back? Step 4. Phrase your goals in small steps. Now you know what it is you want to achieve and how it is you want to get there, you're going to hone in. You now know the bigger picture, and it's time to think about the small details instead. You know you want to get fit. You know that going to the gym is not viable for you, and you know that working out from home makes a lot more sense. So all that's left to do is to phrase this as a goal that you can focus on every day or week. Hence, I will work out for at least 15 minutes every day. Maybe you've decided you're not so interested in toning muscle, but want to start by focusing on losing weight so you look better in a suit and feel more energetic. In that case, your goal might be, I will walk to and from work every day that it isn't raining. There's nothing wrong with having more than one goal, or making more detailed goals either. You might couple this with a secondary goal, which could be, I will not eat anything on my foods to avoid list. Focus on these small steps and get yourself closer to your goal one bit at a time. Likewise, if you want to advance your career, then your goal might be to take every opportunity that arises to enhance my CV, or apply for one job in the evening, three times a week. Some of your broader goals are going to take multiple steps. For instance, if your goal is to become a famous musician, then perhaps you should take the following steps. Learn to play the guitar by spending half an hour each evening, four days a week. Save $15 a day to invest in studio equipment. Output one video a week to build an audience. Output two videos a week to build an audience. Continue to output two videos a week and spend one hour per week in self-promotion activities. Spend two hours a week working on an album to sell from the channel. It's a long process, but it's a real strategy. It's a strategy that you need to succeed. It represents a cognitive shift where you're no longer daydreaming about being a famous rock star, and you're instead looking at concrete, realistic, achievable steps. And that's when you start making real, actual progress. For more free educational content, visit 
Learn for free.biz. Content produced and distributed by All Super Info.